Hello everyone, this is the sixth and last lecture on hello alkanes and hello arenes and in this lecture we are going to discuss some important hello alkanes and hello arenes. So let's see which are important compounds from hello alkanes and hello arenes. So the first is ethyl bromide or bromoethane. The formula of ethyl bromide that is C2H5Br or you can say CH3CH2Br. So this is the formula of ethyl bromide. Now it can be prepared in lab by reaction of HBr with alcohol with ethanol. So you can see C2H5OH combines with HBr and forms CH2H5Br that is bromoethane or ethyl bromide and H2. And HBr can be prepared by reaction of potassium bromide with sulfuric acid. So it will give potassium hydrogen sulfate or potassium bisulfate and HBr that is hydrogen bromide. So if you will combine these two reactions, so you can write, you can remove HBr and HBr. So you can say the reaction is like this C2H5OH plus KBr plus H2SO4 gives C2H5Br plus KHSO4 plus H2O. So this is the reaction of the preparation of bromoethane in lab. Now it is prepared in industries. It can be manufactured in industry by ethene. So on reaction of ethylene with HBr hydrogen bromide you can form CH3CH2Br in the presence of AlBr3 that is aluminium bromide. So you can form ethyl bromide in industries. Now there are some physical properties of bromoethane. However, the physical properties will be similar to those of hello alkanes like ethyl bromide is a colorless liquid. It has a sweet odor and uh, its boiling point is about 312 Kelvin. Like other haloalkanes, it is insoluble in water, but it is dissolved in organic solvents like alcohols, ethers, etc. And one more thing, it is inflammable. Now, the uses of ethyl bromide. So, one most important use of ethyl bromide is it is used as ethylating agent because it consists of ethyl group. So it can be used as a source of this ethyl group. The next compound is chloroform. So chloroform is a colorless heavy liquid. It has a characteristic odor and a burning taste, a sweetish burning taste. Then it is uh, slightly heavier than water. It's specific gravity that is about 1.485. So you can say it is about one and half times denser than water then uh, it is obviously insoluble in water like other uh, haloalkanes it can be dissolved in oils or fats waxes etc then it boils at about uh, 334 kelvin so it boils at about 334 kelvin and uh, the freezing point of chloroform is about 210 Kelvin. Okay, then when its vapor is inhaled, it may cause a temporary unconsciousness. That's why it was used as an anesthetic. But because of its toxic nature, it is not used as an anesthetic anymore. Now, uses of chloroform. So, you know that chloroform was used as an anesthetic, but because of its toxic nature, it is not used as anesthetic anymore. It can be used as a solvent for oils, for fats, for rubbers or resins, etc. Now, it is also used for the preparation of many compounds like chloropicrin or chlorotone, etc. It is also used in medicines. It is also used as a laboratory reagent. So, these are few uses of chloroform. The next compound is iodoform. The formula of iodoform is CHI3. So it is a very important compound. So it has yellow color 
and it is a crystalline solid you know that chloroform chloroform is not a solid substance at room temperature it is a liquid but if you talk about iodoform iodoform is a crystalline solid now its uh, melting point is about 392 kelvin so it melts at about 392 kelvin again it has a characteristic unpleasant odor and uh, similar to most of the hello alkanes it is insoluble in water but soluble in organic solvents like uh, ethers or like alcohols etc now let's talk about the uses of iodoform so iodoform is used as an antiseptic it is used as an antiseptic for dressing wounds and its antiseptic nature is because it liberates iodine because you know that iodine iodine has antiseptic nature so iodine is used as an antiseptic but because iodoform liberates iodine therefore iodoform can be used as an antiseptic it is used in the manufacture of many pharmaceuticals so these are some uses of iodoform the next compound is carbon tetrachloride ccl4 or it is also called tetra chloromethane so carbon tetra chloride or tetra chloromethane both are same so carbon tetra chloride or tetra chloromethane it is a colorless liquid having very high density uh, its boiling point it boils at about 350 kelvin so its boiling point is about 350 kelvin and uh, it is insoluble in water like other hello alkanes but it also dissolves in the organic solvents like alcohols and ethers it is a very good solvent for fats oils and resins etc now let's talk about the uses of carbon tetrachloride so you know that it is a very good solvent so it can be used as a solvent for fats or oils or resins waxes etc now because it is a very good solvent therefore it is also used as a cleansing reagent it can be used as a cleansing reagent because it is a very good solvent it can be used for the manufacture of chloroform and freon gas remember freon gas we will talk about the freon gas later freon gas is used for refrigeration so these are few uses of carbon tetrachloride or tetrachloromethane the next compound is dichlorodifluoromethane or freon 12 it is also called freon 12 freon 12 is its commercial name so remember ki iska jo commercial name hai wo hai freon 12 and its formula is ccl2f2 ccl2f2 iska formula hai aur iska commercial name kya hai dichlorodifluoromethane ये चीज आपको ध्यान में रखनी है वैसे इसको प्रिपेयर करना ज्यादा डिफिकल्ट नहीं है रिएक्शन ऑफ कार्बन टेट्राक्लोराइड विद एच अभी मैंने आपको बताया था कि कार्बन टेट्राक्लोराइड की हेल्प से आप फ्रीऑन फॉर्म कर सकते हो तो क्या फॉर्म करेगा सी सी एल टू एफ टू दैट इज फ्री ऑन वन टू और उसके अलावा एच सी एल ऑब्वियसली देन द सी सी एल फोर को आप एस वी एफ थ्री के साथ भी रिएक्ट कर सकते हो और ये फॉर्म करेगा सी सी एल टू एफ टू अगेन आपके लिए फॉर्म कर रहे डाइक्लोरो डाइफ्लोरो मिथेन और एस बी सी एल थ्री तो ये तो हो गई प्रिपरेशन ऑफ डाइक्लोरो डाइफ्लोरो मिथेन और फ्रीऑन वन टू अब बात करते हैं हम इसकी कुछ प्रॉपर्टीज की तो जनरली इसका जो बॉइलिंग पॉइंट होता है इट इज अबाउट टू फोर्टी थ्री कैलविन तो टू फोर्टी थ्री कैलविन इज इट्स बॉइलिंग पॉइंट सो यू कैन सी इट इज अ गैस एट रूम टेम्परेचर एंड इट इज highly stable up to 800 kelvin so quite stable up to 800 kelvin to 800 kelvin tak ye easily decompose nahi hota hai yahan tak wo stable reh sakta hai to kafi high temperature tak bhi ye kafi stable rehta hai then it is non toxic and it is chemically inert easily react bhi nahi karta hai ye aur toxic bhi nahi hai bahut zyada but there is a drawback it is harmful for ozone it causes ozone layer depletion so that is a drawback of freon 12 to so, isliye iska jo use hai wo thoda kam kiya jata hai ab 
Next is uses of Freon 12. So it can be used in refrigeration or it can be used as a propellant for aerosols and foams. So these are few properties of Freon 12. The next compound is DDT. So DDT, the name of DDT, the chemical name of DDT is 2-2-bis para-chlorophenyl 1-1-1 trichloroethane. So its short name commonly it is known as DDT. Now how the DDT is prepared? DDT can be prepared by reaction of trichloroethanol. So this is trichloroethanol or it is also called the common name of 222 trichloroethanol is chloral. It is commonly known as chloral. So remember its common name that is chloral. So when its reaction takes place with chlorobenzene, when it chlorobenzene with chlorobenzene, तो ये फॉर्म करता है DDT तो DDT का जो स्ट्रक्चर है वो आप देख सकते हो CCl3 देन CH और आपके पास दो बेंजीन रिंग होगी सो दिस इज DDT तो ये स्ट्रक्चर है हमारे पास DDT का नाउ द नेक्स्ट इज यूजेस एंड सम प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ DDT सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द यूजेस एंड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ DDT द फर्स्ट थिंग इज इट इज अ क्रिस्टलाइन सॉलिड जो डीडीटी होता है एक सॉलिड होता है जनरली इट्स कलर इज व्हाइट सो इट इज अ व्हाइट क्रिस्टलाइन सॉलिड देन इट इज इनसॉल्युबल इन वाटर हाउएवर इट इज सॉल्युबल इन ऑर्गेनिक सॉल्वेंट्स तो आपने देखा सबकी लगभग वही प्रॉपर्टीज चली आ रही है कि ये जनरली क्या होते हैं इनसॉल्युबल होते हैं वाटर में और सॉल्युबल होते हैं ऑर्गेनिक सॉल्वेंट्स में नाउ इसकी जो सबसे बड़ी प्रॉपर्टी है इट इज अ वेरी गुड इंसेक्टिसाइड एंड किल्स मैनी हार्मफुल इंसेक्ट सो ये इसकी बहुत अच्छी प्रॉपर्टी है और इसी की वजह से इट वॉज यूज एज एन इंसेक्टिसाइड तो एक इंसेक्टिसाइड की तरह इसको हम यूज करते थे बट नाव डेज इट इज नॉट यूज तो अब हम इसको बहुत ज्यादा यूज नहीं कर सकते हैं ये बहुत सी कंट्रीज में बैन भी है और इसका रीजन ये है बिकॉज इट इज नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल तो क्योंकि ये नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल है ये बायोडिग्रेडेबल नहीं है तो इजीली डिकम्पोज नहीं होता है तो अगर हम इसका यूज करते हैं तो इजीली ये हमारी फूड चेन में आ जाता है विच इज वेरी हार्मफुल फॉर अस क्योंकि ये काफी टॉक्सिक है तो इसीलिए अब हम इसको यूज नहीं करते हैं एज एन इंसेक्टिसाइड तो आपको ये ध्यान रखना है तो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट डी डी टी द नेक्स्ट कंपाउंड इज बेन्जीन हेक्साक्लोराइड इट इज कॉमनली नोन एज बी एच सी द फॉर्मूला ऑफ बी एच सी इज सी सिक्स एच सिक्स सी एल सिक्स सो इट कैन बी प्रिपेयर बाय रिएक्शन ऑफ बेन्जीन विद क्लोरिन सो इट कैन बी प्रिपेयर बाय डायरेक्ट रिएक्शन ऑफ बेन्जीन विद क्लोरिन इन अल्ट्रा वॉयलेट लाइट सो यू कैन फॉर्म बी एच सी सो दिस इज बी एच सी so bhc can be prepared easily by reaction of benzene with chlorine to aap dekh sakte ho formula kya hai iska c6h6cl6 this is an addition reaction yahan pe ek addition reaction hogi it is also used as an insecticides for many insects like flies mosquitoes etc to these are some properties of benzene hexachloride and its uses to hope ki आपको ये सारे टॉपिक्स समझ में आ गए होंगे बहुत इजी टॉपिक्स हैं सो दिस इज ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर एंड द चैप्टर हेलो एल्केन्स एंड हेलो एरिन्स एंड्स विद दिस टॉपिक सो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरीज रिगार्डिंग दिस चैप्टर यू कैन आस्क योर क्वेश्चंस इन कमेंट बॉक्स थैंक यू वेरी मच